be the most expensive shoe I have, okay? Just might be, okay? What is up, guys? Welcome back to another freaking YouTube video, man. In today's video, we're going to go over my whole shoe and boot boot my balut my my shoe and boot collection okay so we got a excuse me i just ate a bunch of uh bull peanuts and uh i had a couple sandwiches so I'm, oh yeah if you are new please subscribe drop a comment down below what kind of boots what are your go-to boots either if it's working doing your you know hey, Billy, fuck shit or or uh, your tennis shoes. What are your favorite tennis shoes? Because in me personally, I like Nike Air Maxes. Oh yeah, dude. Growing up, I was a big ass Air Max guy, dog. I mean, I still am, but shit. All right, man. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the boots first. Uh, I don't have as much tennis shoes as I would like. I, I, I want to buy more. Uh, I'm, I'm probably fixing to buy more after this video no shit uh but let's start off with the boots because we got more boots than shoes we're gonna start off with the oldest pair of boots that i do have and yeah you can just look at these and just tell them that uh, they, they're old as fuck uh i've been had these for about uh two and a half years maybe uh these do not fit anymore these are t these are what ten t tens these are tens uh there's a couple holes in them yeah, so these are my first ever pair of boots. These are my shit kickers. These do not fit me no more. So handy downs to my brother. So toss those over there. Now the second pair to the to those oldest ones. The second to oldest ones are these Justins. Now these uh, are still my kids. Still my shit kickers to this day uh, because that they can still fit. Uh, these are uh, what are these? Eleven? Yeah, eleven D's. So. These fit. I still wear these. I haven't worn them in a long time just because I'm about to get in these boots that I wear all the time just because they're a lot newer than this and these do have a hole in them. But these been around for about now, uh, I would say those were about two and a half. Uh, I would say these would be two years maybe. All right, so uh, let's go into the ones I bought after those. The other boots that I bought after those are, were gonna be dress boots. We're gonna be dress boots. They were dress boots until I, uh, excuse me. God, I ate a lot. Like I said, I ate a lot. <laughs> uh, I bought these for dress boots. Uh, I've always wanted a pair of Tony Llamas, uh, especially the elephant skin right here. So I bought them. Uh, as you can tell, they're not really that taken care of. Uh, got, it has mud on them. They're scratched up, they're beat up. They still look somewhat decent uh, if I were to clean them up, renovate them, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, uh, so these are the Tony Llamas that I bought. One pair that I bought that I'm going to end up just selling. Ariat, no hate to y'all, I just don't like y'all's boots, okay? Now, granted, these are nice looking ass boots, okay? These are, fuck these are slick, okay? I've only worn these once on a, a little date night. With an old girl where uh, I don't know when. But I've only worn these once, okay? Um I might wear them again. I they're just not comfortable. They don't they're not they don't feel right. I just don't like them. I like Justin's more than I do Ariat's. I guess it's just how the boots laid out or anything like that. I know there's gonna be someone in the comments saying, Oh, you probably they're probably uncomfortable because you probably worn them one time, two times. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that. But when I slip on that Justin boot, it's like a freaking memory foam mattress cushion sucking up on your foot, dude. These are these Ariats. Um, I just end up keeping these, honestly. Uh, but be just because they look pretty slick, you know. But. All right. These boots are very, uh, very meaningful to me in a, in a way. So as many as y'all know, Outlaw, Mr. Dipper Outlaw, okay? 
to Mr. Jared. He's got his own boots. Y'all know them. The backwards badass boots, man, with the outlaw symbol in the front. Oh, yeah. These are freaking slick as motherfucking boots, dog. Oh, hell yeah. These are slick. Um, but, yeah, man, I, I've never worn these boots. Not once. And I don't think I ever will. I'm going to just keep them clean, shaped up, and stuff like that. Um, got it. It does have a couple cobwebs on it. But none of that won't, that won't hurt. Jared, much love out to you, buddy. I won't, I, I won't be wearing these only for maybe for an for a special occasion. I will wear these. Y'all go pick some up if y'all want to. I'll leave uh, his link down in the description below. And I would just like to take a second and just sponsor American Fetcher. Go check them out. AmericanFetcher.com link and promo code will be in the description below. All right, go check us out. Use my promo code Taylor all caps for fifteen percent off. All right. All right, we're going to get back up into the boots, okay? The boots I wear daily work. You doing, screwing some shit up. I don't care. To my, These are my shit, daily shit kickers, okay? These are so old Justin boots. Like I said, Justin boots, I, I, that's all I own, dude. I got one, uh, one, two, three, four, four pairs, and I'm probably about to buy fifth. These are my daily shit kickers right here. And then we're gonna move on to the boots I wear daily, my little dress boots, but yet I do, I go out in them. I do a little, uh, little, kind of little fuck shit in them. And, uh, you know, if, if I get caught in wearing them, I'll do some fuck shit in them. But these right here, buddy, these are my slick ass Justin Wood bottoms right here. These, they need to get reshaped redone and everything. I wanna make them look good again. They still look pretty slick. They look old, so that's why I like. Look, that's what I like about them. They do look old. Uh, they are, you know, scruffed up, but that's what I like them. So these are kind of like my dress boots, so to speak, to this day. All right, not last but close. We got my old muck boots, okay? My old rubber boots, my hunting boots, whatever you want to call them. My mud boots, my water boots, my. I don't know. Okay, whatever you want to call them, I got them. Okay, these are redheads. These are 11s, 11 and a half, 11s, I think. These are the 11s. I'm pretty sure I bought these for... Me and Andrew bought a pair. So, yeah, I think these were 11s that I bought them for. These are redheads. I got them at a local Bass Pro, you know. These hold up pretty well. Do not have a hole in them whatsoever. I've hunted. I've done a lot of hunts and a lot of hours of walking. And I have, besides sore feet... And tur during turkey hunting, these are probably not the way to go. I will say that. But uh, I do deer hunt a lot of them. They do get comfy. They do keep my feet warm. Last pair of boots we're going to get into. The last pair I got from a good old company, Brunt, over there. Brunt, Brunt Workwear. All right. That makes some great boots. These are a little meaty, but I do freaking like them. They look slick, okay? Hey, I do not have the steel-toed ones, but they do make the steel-toed ones out uh, on this style. So, they make good uh, boot work right there. Let's get in the shoes real quick. I am wearing one of these pair right now. These are the dirt. These are the dirtiest ones. Uh, somewhat, yes. These are the dirty, dirtiest pair. I'm wearing the other one, which is somewhat cleaner in my opinion, uh, besides this shoe. Yeah, my, uh, yeah, my dog did that. Uh, you buy white shoes, what you expect? You get them dirty, whatever. I got two pairs of those of the Adidas. Um, move on right here, we got my non full wheel drive Crocs. These do not have four wheel drive, these are two wheel drive with uh, 200 something thousand miles on it, close to 300,000 I do believe. The plastics are coming off. They got some dents. Uh, it's a little rusty. Got some holes where the rust is uh, coming off. But, you know, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Because these still give me anywhere I need to. Wash them off. I don't, I don't know why I'm putting all this mud in the house. Now I got dirt in the house. Now I got to clean it. These are my creakers. Okay, I call them my creaker twos. So these are my Crocs. I got them from Walmart. Go down to the creek and these sons of bitches say, hey, my creek or twos. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, we're going to move on to my house slippers. Nothing much. Got these at Walmart. Uh, you know, not, nothing too special. You know you know what house shoes are. <laughs> They're comfortable, okay? 
I saved the best for last. Might uh, might be the most expensive shoe I have. Okay, just might be. Okay, so I saved this one for last. My custom hey dudes. Oh yeah, look at that leather work, baby. All that detail. Yeah, motherfucker. You got the little turkey right there. Yes, dude. Yeah, I'd probably need to keep these in better shape, but you do got the awesome leather right there with the turkey. You got a little turquoise middle of the flower right there you see that's what the pattern i was talking about um looks pretty cool but these are probably the most expensive shoes i got and yes they are dirty so what so i know the hey dudes are kind of dirty i would really need to clean them and uh, wear i know some spots i would probably have to paint over so that is it for my uh little shoe oh yeah i also got uh I also got these, my Lamborghinis. okay? Those are the most expensive pair I got, actually, right now, to this date. Yeah, man, uh, like I said, I am a big Nike Air Max guy. Uh, growing up, I've had, I've probably went through uh, tens of pairs uh, of Nike Air Maxes. Uh, maybe we could get in a little shoe thing with y'all, man. Yeah, dude, I hope y'all did enjoy it. Please smash the like button if you did. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you on the next video, mate.